if it was David Lee Roth, that's what I would do. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I mean, if I just came upon him in the street, that's probably what would happen. I'm sorry. I would do that for Madonna too. Why right. didn't Madonna? Why doesn't Madonna come on our show? Madonna, hun, if you're out there, if you ever get to see this. She's been waiting for an invitation like all our guests. We would love it if you would come on our show sometime. And the only reason you hasn't gotten an invitation before is because we don't know you. Right. And we also knew you was busy with the divorce and the tour and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yeah. So um, now, but now you don't have anything to do. Except fuck that little 27 year old or whatever he is. She's fucking Jesus. That's what I love about Madonna. She's she just goes balls to the wall. She's fucking She's, Jesus. <laughs> I have not been following the happenings She's, of the planet. She's obviously. apparently uh, do, with not that baseball player anymore because he's done with steroids. Because he and did all. steroids. She got wind of that early and dumped him before the scandal hit. You know she's got inside information. Dude, they're all, all them people with the drugs and fame, mm -hmm. they are all know each other. I mean, it's like the, the dude, the joker that died. Yeah. Heath Ledger and the, the skinny bitch. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's well, all about drugs and. Anyway, supposedly she's dating this Brazilian or South American model named. Oh, damn. Well, Jesus. of course she is. Jesus. And he's like 23 or something. Okay, well, that's perfect. So she's getting her total sex on uh -huh. with this dude. She needs some uh, mental stimulation. So she needs to watch Cola Show. Yeah. So, you Madonna, if you're show. out there. You cannot fuck 24 hours a day. Yeah, we know you got to squeeze in time for an actual workout. You've got to eat. Mm -hmm. So you should come on the show. We'll even do macrobiotic just for you. I'm gonna give you, you come a... on, I'll do a macrobiotic show. And I'll give you a blowjob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm sure there was some alien name for it. Yeah, something else or some We probably had animal. parts in different places on different planets. You know, people get, it's like, what was that? When, when they did that bee, was it bee? Which one? Where the, the, they had sex under their armpit? Um, what was it? No. Bee? I think, was that Alien Nation? Yes, Alien Nation. Yes. Ah, and, and I thought, who came up with that? Because that's so unerotic. <laughs> of all the no, other but spaces. there are some people that have a fetish about that. Pits? They have pit fetishes. I bet that person had a pit fetish. Well, pit fetishes, I can, can understand. Can you believe that pit fetish made it to mainstream syndicated television? Mm. Back in the 1990s, no less, or 80s. How long ago was that show on? Oh, that was in the 80s because it, uh... Oh, yeah. Who was in it? Was that Bill Pullman? I don't know. But, you know, everyone knows James Conn will do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Even Cola, I bet he would come on the Cola James show. James Conn, offer stands for Call me too. Out. I think we need to like do a shout out because it's in all of the uh, the man's papers. He wants us to be talking about the Rihanna and the the Mr. Chris Brown episode. Oh where yes, he beat the that. shit out of her. Yeah, he went chimp on her ass. Yes, he did. Um, he went chimp, which I can relate to. And that's not that's not because chimp. they're black. We're no. just using that as a reference because that chimp went crazy and chewed that woman's hands off. And, and a part her of her face. And ate it. Oh, can you imagine having a fucking chimp rip your goddamn fucking face off and eat it while you're it would, still alive? It would hurt. It would hurt. But then I would be thinking, oh, I get a new face. I get to pick it out of a book, you know. Oh, I'd you're be better like, at disassociating than I'm. Well, I mean, I would be. I, I don't know. I just might like kill myself. That's another thing about that thing. Here, let me get back in my position. That's another thing that they look for in these tests is that they try to see who can dissociate the best. Because those of us who can dissociate mm -hmm. can withstand any pain and any kind of degradation or any kind of like assault, whatever, mm -hmm. because we can dissociate so well. Um, you know, in, in like Asia, they call it enlightenment. I'm going to take these off. In the West, they demean it so that, you know, only like... Uh, whorish women and devils can attain this kind of uh, 
state of being, I guess. I don't know. I can't wait till we have some more famous people on the show because then I think it'll prove my whole theory about how TV world is different from real life. Well, it you is know, different. In real life, we would never meet anybody. No. Famous. No. We... But in television world, we can, like, be the king of the world. Well, if this ever does make it on the BBC, then we can just say, hey, queen out there, I know you're watching. We'd love to come visit you at the palace. We did this for you and only you. And uh, Shasta has some questions she wants to ask. So maybe we could do the spirit board or something. Yeah. I think there's a lot of ghosts around you know, there. I bet she would love to do the spirit board with the, with us. And, you know, we wouldn't have to film it, but um, just, just, just like, a little bit film just it. Just to, like, little bit. film the part where we, like, shake hands. And then we could just cut. And then cameraman could have, like, a hidden camera when we do the board. But mm -hmm. it could be, like, but you like could see it would be under first. the table. But we wouldn't yeah. show her crotch. We'd, like, blur it out. Believe me, you're going to come across a lot more popular after mm -hmm. we're done with you. Mm -hmm. People will actually, like... People who wouldn't otherwise give a shit about you might actually know who you are. You could become a gay icon in the right hands. So, in other words, That's let us offer. come to you, queen, if you happen to see this. And the thing about us is that you don't have to go public with this. You know, actually, you can watch our show or, like, on video online mm -hmm. um, in the privacy of your boudoir. And no one need know that you are a Nita Cola Sisters fan. And you can join our fan club just like by being our MySpace friends. <laughs> Even though, like, we don't offer anything. Like, we don't have any headshots yet. We don't yeah. have a website. But we're, we're working on Or t-shirts. We're working on it. But That's the thing. We're always striving for more. And those things take some macro loans. They do. They take money. We don't have, being colas, we are kind of and sort of what they call in our country, unbanked. And, uh, you know, we're not illegal immigrants, so we have trouble, you know, finding a bank that will There's loan us money. There's not like a network of, uh, of black market people necessarily. Not for us. Because all the black market for us died out years ago. Well, our families stole it from us. Right. You know, as soon as they could sneak off with whatever we had mm -hmm. in the camp mm -hmm. and sell it to the Indians, then, you know, they were done. Yep, they moved on down the road. I think actually when they actually get our DNA, they will find out that we are indeed Neanderthal people. And we have purified our genetic structure to the point where we are indeed gods. <laughs> and we can levitate and work magic. So, um, why would we want to look like humans? Is it just purely survival to blend in? I think that no one has taught us anything different. And being the kind of, we want to fit in kind mm -hmm. of people, we've kind of stooped down to pretend to be humans mm -hmm. for, oh, these many, many, many years. Yeah. And we've played along with their game of, Crime and punishment and laws and culture and money mm -hmm. and civilization. Right. Because it benefited us in some way and was amusing. Is that all? Yes. It and was I just think, a fun thing to do because yes, we was bored. Right. And now it's like... It's bored maybe, with our levitating culture. Right. And now I think maybe it's time not to be so human anymore and to go back to our roots and just... <sighs> Just, you know, ignore the humans. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I, I was watching that show, Battlestar Galactica. Yes. And yes, that's kind I of the plot. Like, it's about people just like, it's, it's like the robots are like, fuck these humans. We're just going to we go don't off need on them. our own. We don't need them. Yeah. Um, I think I already mentioned it to you. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been having this recurrent dream. Okay. And in my dream, my Russian fellow keeps yelling at me. Yelling at you? Why? Because I have not stated the obvious in talking about spooks. Oh. I, um, because our culture glorifies spies 